I want to bring in a witness uh, of the shooting uh, on the phone right now. Specialist Glendon Oakley is joining us. I understand, uh, a Specialist, that you, you were in the Cielo Vista Mall uh, at a sporting goods uh, store. Take us through exactly what happened, what you saw. But before you do so, uh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine right now. I'm just a little shaken up. I'm still here at the moment. Are you still uh, at the uh, mall? Yeah, I am. So, so tell us what you, you know, what you saw and heard. Well, uh, I was in a store. I think it's called uh, Fanatics or something. It's a sports store. I was buying a jersey, and the little kid ran in there and was telling us um, it's an active shooter in Walmart. But we didn't pay no attention because, for one, it was just little kids, and then uh, for two, you're at the mall and at a Walmart. So how do you know that? So we just didn't pay no mind. So uh, I walked to Foot Locker. And I just heard two gunshots, and a whole bunch of people started running around screaming. So um, they shut the cage, the cage of uh, in Foot Locker, and I have my license to carry. And I'm in, I'm in the military, so when I hear gunshots, I just, we're trying to, you know, think fast and grab your weapon, think fast and save, take cover, you know, do anything you can. So um, a couple guys, they just ran out of Foot Locker, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm the only one with a weapon, and you know, that's legally carrying. So you know, I go with them because you know I can guard them or whatever, but. I see a whole bunch of a whole bunch of kids just running around without their parents. So I put it up, and the only thing I think of is just pick pick up as many kids as I can as possible. And there was another guy doing it as well. I don't know where he went to, but it was another Hispanic guy with me. He did as well, and it was just I could say maybe a total of like 13 kids running around, but I can only get three, and I think he got about three as well. Because I, I I was just focused on the kids. I wasn't really worried about myself. So I was you know I put my head down and just ran as fast as I could. And um, once I seen a whole bunch of cops, I dropped them. I told them to go. So I pulled out my phone in case they were going to shoot me. So I pulled out my phone and started recording while I was running. They were just telling me, hands up, hands up. And I just, you know, I made it out safe. But I wasn't, I wasn't too worried about myself. I was just trying to get those kids out of there because, you know, I was just, uh, it was just so many kids just running around. And I was just thinking about if I had a child and, you know, if I wasn't around, how I would want another man to react if they see my child running around. So I just stopped, stopped fast and grabbed as many kids as I could as possible and just made it up. Specialist Oakley, how, how long did this incident occur uh, from the time that these young kids came in uh, to that store and, and told you that uh, there's a shooter uh, until, and, until now, basically? How long was the active shooting going on, as far as you could tell? Well, um, while I was buying there, I was in there buying a jersey. He came in there, and then um, it, two minutes probably about went by, you know, so I could swipe my card and stuff. And I walked out, and I walked down to Foot Locker, so I'll say... From me making it, from the kid telling me to me hearing gunshots, it was about maybe like, like a quick five to five to seven minutes. What were the folks saying to you, uh, Specialist Oakley, as you were walking around? Were you walking around in in military uniform or just in the civilian clothes? No, I was just in civilian clothes. Like um, nobody was really because the kid was just running around saying it was an active shooter. Cause I don't know how he found out, but the people around the mall weren't really paying him no attention, you know, until. Um, gunshots popped off, and then a whole bunch of uh, mall cops were running around with their M4s and stuff, just running around. That's when people, you know, started to run around. Screaming. Did you actually hear any gunshots? Yeah. You did? Two. You heard two me gunshots? And, me, and, me, me, me and the guy. That, uh, I don't know who the other guy was, but he. we just ended up being right next to each other the whole time, but he heard it well. Cause, so what, know, did you, what did you do? What did you do? You're, I know you're a military. You're in the U.S. Army. You're a specialist. But what, what did you do when you heard those gunshots? Honestly, anybody in the military can tell you, like, it's something you can't explain. Like, I don't even remember. Like, I just remember because I just remember, uh, I just remember, you know, just trying to get those kids out because we're like, we, we're trained to pull your gun out and, you know, take over or save or shoot whoever's in front of you that's the enemy you know what i'm saying so that's something i just i can't explain you just have to be in the military to, re to, to really understand what i was going through through that time so your objective your goal your immediate goal was to help save these kids as opposed to running toward the incident where the shooting was going on even right. though you were armed even though you were armed right because when i was in Foot Locker, at first i was just thinking for myself you know just hide but through the and when they shut the cages you can see uh like through it through the case, and all you see is just a whole bunch of kids. So, you know, I just thought about getting the kids out the way, man. I, anything could happen. The straight bullet can fly by or anything. I was just worried about the kids. I wasn't, once I seen kids, I wasn't too worried about myself. And so you helped, uh, helped the kids. How were the kids doing? 
you know, they were anxious to just jump. Like, when they were in my arms, they were trying to jump out of my arms. But, you know, I'm trying to keep them as tight as possible. Like, they, they, they're they kids. They don't really understand what's going on. And then at that, I think they were just scared. They weren't by their parents or nothing. As far as you can tell, funny. you're still you're still at the uh, Cielo Vista Mall right now. Uh, specialist, uh, is, is it over? Are people letting you walk around, or are they forcing you to stay put? Um, at first they were forcing me to stay put, but like I was, I came out on the other side of my, so I was just walking to my car. So I had to walk all the way around. So it was just a whole bunch of people just walking, just walking. But the border patrol was trying to, you know, push everybody back, but. I made it to my car. I guess they didn't see me. I made it to my car, and I drove around, and um, I had just parked, and a couple of news people just walked up to me, and uh, I guess they just asked me some questions and stuff, and they, I just took an interview and all that other stuff. Specialist Oakley, uh, is there anything you want to share, anything else you want to share with our viewers here in the United States and around the world? I just hope those kids are safe, man, and to the parents that if you're looking for your child, I hope I, I was able to get your child out of there as quick as possible, and I just, I just pray that all the kids and just bystanders that were in the mall and at Walmart just made it out safely. And it's, it's really tragic. I, I wasn't expecting this to happen. It was just, I was, just, you know, on a normal day paying bills the first of the month. I was just minding my business. This, this, this is something that just it shocked me. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, nobody was expecting this, but unfortunately, it happens way too often. Uh, and Specialist Glendon Oakley, thanks, uh, first of all, for your service uh, to the United States. Uh, you're uh, in the U.S. Army. Thanks for what you did today in helping those kids in the face of this mass shooting. Uh, we'll stay in close touch with you. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, Roger that.